Hi there. Hey, I hope everyone's having a good day today. Uh, this is part two of the transmission video. There was only supposed to be one part. I was only going to be uh, resealing the transmission, but uh, I ended up doing something to the internals. So I am pulling it back apart and I'm going to take it apart and attempt to put it back together. Uh, first step in that is I'm taking off of the, uh, the input shaft seal here. Uh, it's a seal holder. And uh, it, it really does help if you turn the wrenches the right way. I was going the wrong way at first. This is a 5 mil Allen wrench. And uh, I'm checking as I take these bolts out, looking for the little O-ring that uh, goes around them to help seal them up. And uh, I'm hoping to reuse these, but as I take this apart, I realize that's not going to happen. I'm probably going to buy a new kit. I'm looking for the seal here, the little O-ring, and it's... It's nowhere to be found. It's not on the bolt, which I drop. It's also not on the uh, the flange that holds the uh, the seal. And uh, I was looking on the ground for it. Did not see it. So now I'm going to take out the, the rest of the bolts here and just keep going. I can't find these little O-rings individually. I could go to a parts store, but it's actually a 45 minute drive to my nearest parts store. I'm going to get down on the ground and actually have a look. Don't see a thing looking in there. Don't see a thing. It's always good when you take things apart. Look for the bits that you're looking for. You know, if, if you can't find a seal, you can't find a washer or something, uh, you don't want it to end up inside of the transmission. Aha! Inside the cover is our little squished O-ring. It got fed through the hole of the... Uh, of the cover there and uh, ended up inside. Uh, I'm looking at the the seal here. I I have a sneaking suspicion I yeah I put it on backwards. I'm pretty sure I have to check and make sure. I wanted to reuse as much of the gaskets and everything else as uh, out of the kit as I could, but uh, looking at this, I think it got squished quite a bit. I'll, I'll probably just buy a new kit and go from there. But uh, the gasket, of course, comes off just fine. I just needed to get it a little bit loose and uh, peel it off there. So I know you're not supposed to do this. You're not supposed to pull these apart before you get everything apart. Um, I'm, I'm looking at what the problem might be. I, I noticed that uh, one of the dogs on the, uh, I think it's the fourth gear synchro, uh, was dislodged and it looked like the spring uh, was not in properly. Uh, so I'm just kind of doing a little investigation there to see if I can find the spring and move, move the uh, synchro around. Uh, giving up on that. Now we're going to take off uh, this side and uh, get this gasket off. These are um, a much larger Phillips screw than I had thought. I just grabbed a number two. I've been having some health problems lately. Um, I'm getting pretty severe arthritis in my hands. So actually getting this uh, I can't remember what this kind of screwdriver is called. It, you know, it's just a big Phillips, and it's got a, a blunt tip. You can tell me in the comments what it's called. It's got a name. We use it in the ski industry too. Perfect for those screws. Takes them right off. That's the housing for our little reverse switch, and gives some room uh, for your selectors to move in and out. And you notice there, I put a I pushed on the number four. I think that's the three four selector, and nothing happened. It doesn't move, and that's the problem I ended up with when I got the transmission back together. So I want to take off these grub screws that uh, hold in these the the you know the yokes and everything else. Um, Got my right size screwdriver in here. That grub screw came out fine. Loosened up great. And now the one down here on actually the, the shifter bit. This one was just stuck. And looking at it, 
it had been pretty boogered up in the past. Someone someone really did a number on this. And I'm having some strength issues anyway, so I'm using a wrench to help turn my screwdriver, and I could not get it to turn. I finally used a little bit of heat and got it to move, and that was uh, just enough of a start uh, to get it out of there. You know, got a little heat on it. I got a little snap out of it. I'm trying everything I got different screwdrivers this one goes a little bit deeper in there there's a you know uh, a little bit of a rim around the outside i think that's where i finally got a snap or it, it snapped off well it didn't snap off yet but it uh i couldn't get it loose so it was just a good 20 seconds of me struggling trying to get this out i finally gave up and went to the others I think I'm back on the bad one here. Yeah. Hmm. Well, I was trying to do a little different kind of a video here. I was going to narrate afterwards, but this first grub screw on the three, four shifter was a mess. Where the heck did it go? Here it is. <laughs> it, it snapped. First off, it was impossible to get out. Uh, it snapped and it's still incredibly tight. So I need to re, there you go. I need to re, uh, probably re, rerun those threads in there uh, when I put this all back together. Um, and, and now I can get the rest of this part. So I'll, I'll continue with my narration again. It's all falling apart in here anyway. I've probably done this wrong. I thought I had read properly where to do it, but uh, you know, Heck, we'll get it apart. It might not be the prettiest way to do it. So we'll continue here. I didn't have the best of attitude this morning. I'm not beating on that very hard. I'm just trying to tap it out. Realize that the grub screw is still a little bit tight. Um, I finally just opted, you know what? I'm, I'm gonna pull the grub screw all the way out doesn't need to stay in there it only needs to stay in by a couple threads and you can slide all that out but it's just as easy to pull the whole thing out and sure enough you get the grub screw out that just slides slides right out no big deal I'm trying to inspect the parts as I take this apart. I'm looking at them, making sure everything looks okay, that it's not dinged up too much. The, the transmission was remarkably clean inside. Everything seemed to come apart pretty well. The last bit to get off is this uh, center one. This is the first and second gear, and uh, it's got, a, it's got a, a roll pin. And you just beat on it like any roll pin should start moving there it goes now it's starting to move down there but you got to look and you've got to get that roll pin to come out right between two of the teeth on the synchro gear that's right underneath it and uh, so I'm just adjusting making sure that's right there and getting the roll pin low enough so that I can slide out that uh, that last shift selector not quite it's obvious when it comes out it's super easy Everything slides out like it's supposed to. And again, these bits have been in there for so long and my hands are already oily. I gave myself a little bit of help with a pair of channel locks there. I did not score the end of the selector pin, just, just got a little bit more of a connection than I could with my, my fingers. Checking the feet on this selector, that's the uh, first second, and uh, they look pretty good. Weren't worn out too much, you know, not beyond any anything they need to be. And then here's the... Uh, third fourth selector it's all good yeah bunch of relief
Got those out. That took forever to get that grub pin out of there or grub bolt. It was a mess. Now we need to loosen up the uh, output shaft housing. This, this has the bearing and the seal and it has the drive gear for the speedometer and uh, the little drive that goes to the speedometer cable. And I'm just loosening this right now um, because I forgot I take, got to take the hub off. Again, man, modern impacts. I had, a, I had an inexpensive uh, air one. It could do nothing like these modern battery powered do, do. And this is the cheap, well, the most expensive of the cheap Harbor Freight ones. Yeah, you're not gonna pull that off with your hand. I don't know why I didn't remember that. Yeah, you gotta get a puller. I bought this puller when I was in my senior year in high school at Pochelle Auto Parts in Parkland, Washington. If anyone knows where that is or was, let me know. Uh, still have it. Still works great. Used it forever. I do need some bigger ones, though. I'm going to go online and buy some bigger ones. There's some projects I have that are going to require some pullers that uh, be nice to have some larger ones. Also, ratcheting wrenches, man. How did we, how did we do anything without ratcheting wrenches? insane what a great idea how did that get invented so late that yeah, just pulls it right off there we go there's the housing they're not housing that's the uh, the flange then we can pull off the housing i did forget to do one critical thing here it'll, it'll come up later you'll see why you should take it off now but that's the uh the drive for the uh speedometer you want to get that out of there now as well uh, because the next step it's got to be out of the way it's required so you turn this and now you open up that passageway for the uh, the lay shaft or the uh, the secondary shaft, and uh, just a little punch on the end, you can see that starts moving and moving everything out. Why isn't it moving as easy? I'm missing the housing. What could possibly be wrong? Ah. Yeah, it's the uh, the drive for the uh, for the speedometer cable. There it is. Now it's hitting that. I'd, I'd missed the uh, the flange, and I thought, well, hey, why is this not coming out as easy as uh, they're supposed to? And you can see it's pulling the two halves apart. I'm an amateur, guys. I I'm, I watch videos. I read books. Um, I've done this for a long time. This is the first time I've ever taken apart a transmission, though, so I'm learning as we go. Oh, yeah, fingers aren't going to do this either. So you got to take the grub screw out. That just pops out, and you're still not going to get it with fingers, Jeff. The answer is right by my right elbow. All I have to do is grab it. There it is. That's it. And no, I did not squeeze hard enough to booger up the threads. So, now we start pushing here again. Look at that, comes right out, that lay shaft. It's a uh, there's that thunk. Did you hear the thunk? That thunk was the, uh, yeah, that was the uh, secondary shaft falling down into the bottom of the transmission, which lets you uh, pull all the clusters out. 
that shaft is it's not exactly tapered but it has a, a thicker end and if you put it in backwards you're going to ruin your case and if you take it out the other way you're going to ruin your case don't do that so inspecting as we go along here looking down to the bottom see what we got pull out the secondary gear cluster here it's actually just all one piece that's a uh, spacer that popped out there and we just check the bottom make sure that we got all the little bits So here's the problem. One of the springs fell off of the uh, synchro ring. And uh, that might be pretty beat up anyway. We'll see if I get that in the right way when I go back. And I'll look at the, the dogs and everything or the towels or whatever you want to call them. There's a couple more dogs. The bear, no, didn't lose any bearings. Well, okay, here's two bearings. Those bearings are actually for the uh, secondary shaft. Wow. There's a little piece of metal. So yeah, I did something. When I took this apart, it wasn't right, but I'll inspect all the teeth. <clears throat> I'll, uh, you know, look at everything, make sure it's okay. You know, I'm going to redo the roller bearings here, obviously. See if I can find a dummy shaft <laughs> to use to do that. And uh, inspect all this. But I suspect that uh, I lost a piece of bronze here or something. I'll have to see what that is. Oh, no, that's the... <laughs> That's not bronze. That's the other half of my uh, my uh, grub screw. So good. There there is no bits of bronze or anything weird in here. It's all looking pretty good. I just might have to fix some stuff. It looks like that spring's buggered up too. So I think what I did is I buggered up the springs. Everything else looks like it might be okay. If that's the case, then uh, I might just. Do a few might as wells, might as well put new bearings on, but I'll, you know, check them too, see how they sound. Um, that one sounds flawless. I think that one's good too. I might not, I might get away with this without doing any new bearings or anything. But we'll see. This is just step one of this, getting the transmission apart. Now that I see it, I'm not as intimidated as I was, but uh, I definitely need new springs on my, my main shaft uh, for the synchros. They're kind of a mess. So I'll start reading. Thanks for joining me today. Appreciate it.